Good morning, my fellow scientists. I hope you're ready for today's experiment. We have an egg experiment. So this experiment will take a day. So I'm gonna do the beginning part of it and then it needs to sit for a day. So let's get to it. So I first, the only actual ingredients you really need are an egg and vinegar. So any type of vinegar. Um, you can also use either a raw egg or a hard boiled egg. I'm using a raw egg for this one. If you use a hard boiled egg, you'll get the similar results. It just might be a little less messy in case it were to break at the end. So let's first talk about our vinegar. I'll put my egg carefully down. Hope it doesn't roll. Okay, so vinegar is an acid. Let's put this on here. Vinegar is our acid. And our egg is a base because the eggshell has something called cal calcium carbonate in it. So that's how our egg is the base. I'll stick that on there. So when we mix our acid and base together, that reaction that will happen produces carbon dioxide. So that's the first kind of thing that we're gonna see. I need one more thing I forgot to mention, a cup measuring, or a measuring cup. My egg is gonna fall off. Okay, and you need a clear glass. Clear is so that we are able to observe what's happening. So I'm gonna open my vinegar, which is, remember, my acid. And I'm going to pour one cup of vinegar. Okay, and I'm gonna pour it into here. Next, you take your egg and you gently wanna place it in there. You don't want to, especially if you're using a raw egg like I am, you don't want it to crack, so I'm gonna kinda of tilt it and let it slide in there. And then we're going to watch and see what happens. Do you see the bubbles that are coming off of the egg? See lots of bubbles and that's that reaction. So that's when the acid and the vinegar reacted with the calcium carbonate in the eggshell. So that those bubbles that we see are carbon dioxide being released. So that'll kind of happen for a little bit. Um, and then we basically just wait. So we have to wait for 24 hours and we'll come back and see what happened to our egg. So I want you to make a prediction. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. What do you think is going to happen to our egg when it's sitting in vinegar for 24 hours? So I'm gonna let you see that reaction up close and I want you to think about what you think is gonna happen. So it's actually been over 48 hours since we first put the egg in the vinegar and this is what happens when I took it out. So you can see that that shell is completely gone and you can't really see this from the video but it's really squishy because there's no shell there. So this is where I said if you used a hard boiled egg that shell would still be gone because of the reaction but it wouldn't risk breaking going everywhere. But there it is, pretty cool. So since we were working with acids and bases today, I wanted to show you one more um, acid and base reaction that's a little more dramatic. So we have, remember we know that vinegar is an acid and we know that baking soda, or we don't know this yet, but baking soda is a base. So we have our acid and our base and we know from our egg that when we combine an acid and a base together, that reaction forms carbon dioxide. So I'm going to use this to keep it from spilling. I'm gonna pour it in this little one. So I'm first gonna pour some baking soda into my little cup. You 
you definitely do not need to put that much. I'm just hoping to get a bigger reaction. And then we have our vinegar, our acid. And let's see what happens when I pour my acid into my base. So there you have it, much more dramatic than our egg, which is right over here. But it is still releasing carbon dioxide, just in smaller amounts than this experiment. Okay, I'm going to show you one more today, just because I keep finding so many cool experiments that I want to show you. So this one is again with the vinegar. So I'm going to mix vinegar and salt. So this one actually goes a little bit more with last week's, how I tried to use Coca-Cola to clear a rusty pan. So we are going to use salt and vinegar to clean dirty pennies. So here's my dirty penny. First, I'm going to mix salt and vinegar by putting them in here. So I'm just gonna kind of mix them together. It's not gonna have that same reaction that our baking soda and vinegar did. Okay. So now to mix it, I'm going to pour it from one Tupperware to the other. Okay, so we have our mixture and I have my dirty penny. I am going to stick half of the penny in the mixture. And that was just a few seconds in the mixture. I'm gonna set it in for a little longer. You can actually see it, how it's already clear just in the mixture. And there it is. So that's what salt and vinegar did to my penny. Let's see if the other side. Pretty cool.